I'm going to talk to something uh, that's, I think, really important. It's excited me throughout my career, and that's the role of the androgen receptor in prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is very common. It accounts for about 40,000 new cases every year, and it's estimated that this is going to rise over the next 10 years to over 65,000, and it kills around 10,000 men every year. There's a problem of working out which cancers we should screen for and which cancers we should treat, but a critical problem is understanding those cancers that become advanced through uh, castration-resistant disease, and this is going to be the topic of my talk today. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, um, I hope I've demonstrated to you that the androgen receptor is critically important in primary prostate cancer and castration-resistant disease, and I hope I've shown that by better understanding how the androgen receptor works, we can develop new biomarkers and new treatments for men with castration-resistant disease. And in particular, the studies that I've outlined showing that drugging met metabolic targets is very definitely worth testing in man, and this indeed is now happening. And, and again, another very important point is that the use of human tissue, which surgeons are actually extremely well positioned to do in terms of their input into these sorts of studies, show that the androgen receptor has a unique transcriptional program in tissue where it is repositioned uh, to alter the phenotype of, of the cells. But an important rider is that it does appear that at presentation, small numbers of cells in the primary cancer are already possessed many of these features that will subsequently allow them to become advanced and castration resistant. 